Hello! Today I'm bringing you the second part of my bullet journal flip through. Part 1 is already up on my channel, so you can go and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. You will find the link in the description and info card in the right up corner. Today we will look through my spreads from April and May 2019. The notebook I was using was, of course, Dotted B5 STM. So here we have a pure cover page. It was inspired by Nom Nom from Weber Bears cartoon and Koala emoji icon. To make it more interesting, I decided to add some sunflowers and light green leaves. Next, there is my calendar. At this point, I wasn't sure what I want this theme to look like. As you can notice, even my design of koala changed three times in the first few pages. In the right bottom corner, there was another koala, but I covered it up with a separate piece of paper. I did that because the background was already too busy for me, and to be honest, I disliked it right after I finished it. But it grew on me with the time, and now I'm very happy with it. And that's the first weekly of April. Here you can see little oopsie I made, my journal fell off my desk and one corner turned down. I decided not to try to fix it, but make it look more like intentional part of the spread. I also added a little koala hanging on it. Here we have one of many tutorials in which I was including four different results made with different media. I think it's a great idea to expand very simple tutorials and also a good way to show people that they don't need any specific type of pen or paints to recreate it. For this tutorial, I decided to show results made with watercolors, basic colored pencils, Crayola super tips and black pen or fine liner. And then another tutorial, Koala themes this time. I'm not happy with all the results on this one. The Crayola one look a bit off, but it doesn't really matter. For me, the most important thing about my tutorials is not making them perfect, but fun and easy to follow. Next, we have second weekly of April. I love those sunflower corners so much and I want to turn them into stickers one day. As you can see, the koala I painted here is the same one I did tutorial for. I also included this little thank you sign for 18k followers on my Instagram. And here we have a mood tracker inspired by my March mood tracker, but this time, instead of giving the koala faces, I wanted to color them in different shades of grey. I just didn't want koalas to have mouth for some reason. The lighter the color is, the better day I have, but it didn't work out because most of them look like they were intended to be light and I wanted them to be more middle toned. Also, by accident, the bottom ones were painted with colder grey than the top ones. Next to this tracker, I made quote page that was my entry for journaling your way challenge on Instagram. I wasn't sure if this idea will turn out good, but I'm actually very happy with the final result. There is another weekly with one more sleeping koala. I just love to draw sleeping animals. I also made more of the sunflower things that I really enjoyed in my previous weekly. And one more weekly. My idea for this spread was to turn the flowers into some kind of balloons, but it didn't work too well because the koalas look like there is no gravity. But I think it was a good idea anyway. And another tutorial is a second of three part mini series of Weber Bears tutorial. The first one were placed in my previous theme. 
you can see I made 4 different results again. I think this pen only one is a bit creepy because I made his eyes white like it was a ghost. This is last week of April. Because April ended in the middle of the week, I decided to put a hint what my next theme is going to be. That's why I drew this little panda eating pizza next to Carla who is jealous because panda got a bigger slice. I have no idea why is the koala ears partly covered in black, but it's okay. Now we are moving to May and one of my favorite cover pages I've ever made. Look how shiny it is. For May I decided to use this beautiful deep green from White Knight with black for pandas and gold for flowers and headlines. Here we have a calendar, no big changes here. It's a little bit less busy than my previous one. I really like it because of this green. I've never seen more beautiful paint before. Here I made some charts to keep track on my exams and books I checked out from library to write a paper. That's kinda ironic because it was the first time I made spread like this and it was also the first time I had so little exams, usually it's a lot more. Next to the charts I have my first Instagram calendar. I realized that I need separate calendar from my Instagram only because I got some reviews to make and I wanted to make sure everything is well scheduled. Here is mood tracker. This time I wanted to make it stand out on its own and not to be just another recreation of my March one. The higher the bamboo is, the better day I got. As you can see, my was very happy month for me. On the bottom there is a pattern alluding to cover page of this month. This is the weekly that at the time I was recording, I thought that uh, it was the last one, but it's clearly not because it's the first one. It's a bit busy, I put way too much leaves here. At that time I started to include hydration charts to my weeklies because I was trying to drink more water. Spoiler, it worked and now I don't need this tracker anymore. And there is a panda tutorial. It's the same panda I drew on my Instagram calendar. It's quite simple one and again I included four results made with different media. And another weekly. My favorite thing about this one is this panda eating bamboo. It's super cute. One more tutorial, this time about drawing very simple leaves. It was the most requested tutorial in May. And next to it I added my favorite quote page. Just like many other people I have huge problems with trying to make everything perfect. Sometimes I can't stand even very little imperfection and it's very bad for my mental health. I have to keep telling myself that it all isn't about making everything perfect, but about making progress that makes things better. And here we have another weekly. I wasn't joking about drawing sleeping animals. I really like to draw them in my journal. Next, a tutorial for panda eating bamboo from this spread. I even made a little close up to bamboo because I thought that there is no point to make tutorial for bamboos only. And the last weekly, actual last weekly, Nothing very interesting about this one besides this very cute scene of little pandas waking up a big panda. And okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any upcoming video. Stay awesome and see you next time. Bye!